Page 46, the trout. It's got that other foreign name under it. I ain't gonna try and pronounce that stuff. No. Anyway, it's a very famous melody by Schubert. It is from a trout, what's called a trout quintet. It's a quintet, a, a group of five people playing together this piece. Well, there's different movements in the piece, but one of the movements has this melody in it. It's called Look Up Trout. The Trout or Trout Quintet and Schubert. Listen to it. It's really a wonderful piece. <laughs> there's numerous piano arrangements of it. Liz did a really nice one, and someday I will record it and put it up on my other channel, maybe. I don't know. No promises, I don't know. But I'll probably learn it and play it for the piano club within the next couple of years or so. Now, I have a bunch of things I want to talk about. We're getting more advanced, so we're starting to talk about more advanced stuff. If you're struggling and you're really, you're not getting it and you're hesitating a lot, and go, this is a good time to go back to the beginning of this book and go through these videos and the pieces again, because you will pick up stuff that you forgot or missed, and you'll be able to play the pieces better, you'll learn them quicker, and it really will help, because the music is only going to get tougher. Now, if you don't go back and review and take your time with this, you'll eventually just get frustrated and quit. You all, I don't have time to practice or all kinds of excuses as to why you can't do it. So be, be sure you're ready to go on before you tackle this one. And I'm going to point out they're, they're introducing some new stuff here. Start with the right hand. Look at the fingering of the first few notes. You're starting with a thumb on a G. Then a third finger on the C, and then a little finger on the E. Does this look familiar? It's a C chord, second version, but it's a C chord. So you, I'm, you know, when I look at music, this is the kind of patterns I'm looking for because it helps me to play these. I don't just take it one note and then figure out the next note, and next note. I take them in groups like this, and that's so that's this is the pattern here. It has a pickup beat. So it starts on beat four. So four, one, two, staccato. Next note, or next measure, the last measure, the first line, eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one. And then it goes back to this pattern again. These staccatos and slurs are very important. They're always important, but they really make this piece. So be sure and put those in exactly as they're shown. Follow their fingering because you're not going to stay in this position. You're just That's gone. The, your five finger position thingy is slowly fading out. You're starting to get in all kinds of positions here. It's a regular yoga routine sometimes. Third line down is similar to the first line. Fourth line is similar to the second line. Let's go to page 47. Second line here. Watch this fingering. You start with third finger. The next B is with second finger. The third B, the eighth note, is with thumb. Forget the rhythm and all this. Let's just do that. Three, two, one. I love it. I just love it. I'm a big believer in when you have repeated notes. If possible, use different fingers on the repeated notes because it's safer. When you get really nervous and tight, you have a better chance of hitting them correctly and getting them to play if you use different fingers on repeated notes. You can't always. And sometimes it's just more fun not to. But when they do this kind of thing, I just, oh good. Because that means I can start talking about altering fingering on repeated notes a little bit. For instance, in the last measure, that second line, you see those three A's? Well, the way they've got it, you'd play all of those with second finger. I would prefer to do a 2-1-2 two -two fingering. See, so the important thing is, and the first one is going to be a 2, and the last one is going to be a 2, but that middle one could be about anything. I could do a 2-3-2. Two, two. But I typically on this I'll do a 2-1-2, two -two, and I'd encourage you to try that out. The two C's, I could change that fingering, I won't. And the third line down, you see those two G's in the second measure? I'd do a 2-1. They're just to use different fingers on repeated notes. Don't have to. You can use one on both. 
Last line, three A's again, a two on two. And the next to the last measure, a two on on the two G's. So experiment a little bit with it, but I would encourage you because it really will help you in the future when things get a little rougher to do that. So why not try it now while the music isn't that rough yet and see what you can do with it. Eventually you want to do it without looking. You want to feel for this. And you can just repeat it if you have to. Just practice those notes. Any notes, doesn't matter. You don't have to go fast. But there's different finger patterns you can use. And uh, the one, two, one, two. I do that. You should do it in both hands. If you do it in one hand, do it in hand. You can marry the hands. Three, two, one. One two one two one two type thing. Get a feel for it. Left hand. You just mostly got the chords. Five seven chord. Second line, last measure, you have an F sharp, and then the next measure, another F sharp. No big deal. Those happens later on too. Actually, I think those are the only accidentals in the whole piece. Is that F sharp that happens a few times. Let's try this out slowly to check notes and rhythms. As far as dynamic goes, they don't give you a lot in dynamics. You can experiment with it. You're starting out medium soft. That's the melody. That's the right hand. You'll have to decide what medium soft is because it's different for different people and different. That depends on how you feel. It depends on a lot of stuff. Then they've got crescendo and decrescendos. To, the idea is learn the piece pretty well first. And you can sort of use their dynamics as a guide, but ultimately you're going to have to feel these dynamics, and you're going to you're going to fluctuate a little bit. You're going to vary them a little bit as the music goes on. It's how you feel it. I'm going to give us three counts, and we'll play this together. So the right hand starts here, left hand's here. No pedal. We got plenty of staccatos and slurs we want to hear. One ready, go. rest. give you an idea what this arrangement sounds like because you can find recordings of this all over. It's sort of like this. <laughs> <laughs> 